What happens when an NFL team declares for bankruptcy two months before the season begins? Having to relocate the franchise across seas and having all current players opt out of their contracts and with no other decent NFL players wanting to sign for the team, they have to sign a bunch of players that no other NFL teams want anything to do with. Welcome to the Rejects Madden 19 Franchise Series. So your Dublin Shamrock Rejects are going to take the field for the first time in history in the first preseason game of the year against the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the starters are definitely not set in stone, but this is going to be the starting lineup that we do rock out with today, minus one of the positions and going over to defense, this is who we're going to start today as well. We're going to be rotating as many players as possible as you guys are going to be voting at the end of the preseason who ends up being the starter at every single position. So pay close attention to the gameplay and make sure to highlight the players you think should be the starters. Now as you guys all know, every single episode throughout this series, we are going to be signing one player to try out for the Dublin Shamrocks. It's always going to be the top rated comment that suggests a player that does fit the theme of the series and from the previous episode it is time to sign the first ever tryout player for the Dublin Shamrocks who is gonna get some time in today's game as we head to the free agents and to make this kind of anticlimactic you guys forgot to suggest the players we do need to cut because every single episode we are gonna cut at least one player as decided by you guys but I thought just for the preseason we won't cut anybody till the end of the preseason I'll leave a bunch of straw polls so you guys will completely control the players we cut and bring into the final roster going into the regular season but once we get into the regular season we will be cutting somebody every single episode and also once we we get into the regular season every single tryout player that we do sign on the team you guys will vote at the end of the episode whether or not you believe that player made the squad or not but the first player in series history to try out for your Dublin Shamrocks is of course you should have known it was coming none other than Timothy Tebow is going to be signing to the roster as we do sign Tim Tebow to the team one of the clauses in Tim Tebow's contract is the fact that he did want number 15. So Tyrone Swoops, our current highest overall tight end, we're going to have to change his number to number 11. So we can give Tim Tebow his requested number of number 15. And just like everybody else on the roster, his contract is a three-year deal worth the league minimum. But just as a little added bonus, he did want number 15, which we are going to change as I'm confused why the number was it keeps transforming to 16 although here it says 15 but uh I, i've never seen such a thing but tim tebow does sign to the dublin shamrocks roster as a 62 overall 86 throw power 69 deep accuracy 71 medium accuracy 81 sword accuracy 49 awareness and some decent throw on the run stats so not the greatest accuracy ratings but we all know tim tebow is more of a scrambler quarterback he does have 80 speed and 83 excel so he could be a decent option at quarterback for us he is 31 years old so definitely in what should be the prime of his career so hopefully he can bring something to the table for the dublin shamrocks but as you guys do see we have five quarterbacks now on the roster and a rule that i did decide to implement we will probably decide to implement some rules throughout the series as suggested by you guys and rules i think like make the series better we won't be able to try Try out the same position for two consecutive episodes so next episode we have to try out a player on the team that's not a quarterback that's just to avoid us having about 107 quarterbacks on the roster now a couple of these quarterbacks will have to end up being cut but we're not going to start the cuts until the end of the preseason after that like i said it is going to be an every episode thing but an option that we do have if you guys don't like tim tebow at quarterback he always could be converted to maybe tight end. So that could be an option. But for now, he's actually going to get the first ever start in Dublin Shamrock history. But like I said, don't worry. All the quarterbacks are going to play almost every single game. We'll probably start a different quarterback each game in the preseason. So you guys can get a really good idea of who you want to start for this series. And once again, for everybody that was commenting that this person should have been in the series and that this person shouldn't be on the team, that's what you use the comments for. If you think a player should be added to the series, list them as a tryout player in the comment section below. And as you guys saw, if your players are top rated comment, you're player will be tried out for the Dublin Shamrocks and the viewers will be able to decide whether the player made the team or if they should be cut from the team. And as a 53 overall, hopefully some of these tryout players end up being pretty freaking good because if not, this team is going to be bad.
Oh, somehow we already have an upgrade for Justin Blackman. These upgrades will probably come slowly but surely, so we'll go ahead and upgrade him as we can. Give him a deep threat upgrade up to a 68 overall. One of the best receivers on our team. So when it comes to our offensive and defensive schemes, we picked the spread scheme because it's our best scheme fit at 84% and the 4-6 defense because we have a 100% scheme fit for that. And we found out his first name is Kevin. So Kevin Tindall, the first head coach in Dublin Shamrocks history, decides to bring in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook and the New England Patriots defensive playbook. So I don't think they're expecting too much for us. They're really kind of expecting for a six-plus win regular season, which I would actually be surprised if we got six wins. And one last thing I want you guys to vote on in the straw poll in the description box below. I want you guys to let me know whether you want this series to be a face cam series or not. I normally do face cam for every single video, but I feel like this series could be a little bit different where I didn't do the face cam or maybe I only did the face cam in the gameplay so let me know in the comment section below let me know by voting in the straw poll that will be a part of the description box below but not only does our team suck we're the 32nd most popular team in the world but at least our fans are happy so apparently we sell connor's crack and stew don't know who connor is chicken dumplings and irish mussels dish at our games. So crazy enough, when it actually comes to team value, we're not the dead last team in the NFL as of right now. We're actually tied with the Titans and Bills when it comes to being the lowest value teams in the NFL. But with all that, we currently have the happiest fan base, the best stadium, best concession stands, and best when it comes to tickets. So apparently, our marketing team thinks the three best players to market on our roster is Wes Saxton, Trey Herndon, and Micah Hannerman. Somebody in our marketing department needs to be fired. Now with all the funny business over with, time for the Dublin Shamrocks, the first ever time to take foot in an NFL stadium. Traveling all the way to the USA, so keep in mind, man, our players are going to be completely jet lagged, which is going to be a problem every single episode. But 53 overall Dublin Shamrock team. It's been an insane two-month process, but we've got enough players to fill the team for at least a preseason game. Guys, about to jump into the game. Drop a like if you guys are enjoying the series. Subscribe if you are new. Most importantly, guys, make sure you are paying close attention to what happens in the gameplay. Because throughout these preseason games, we do have to try and process what players we do think need to be our starters that give us the best chance to win in this first NFL season for the Dublin Shamrocks. I don't know, man. I have a bad feeling about this. And apparently, we're in prime time. Don't know why, you know, this preseason game is necessarily in prime time. Oh, and if you guys were wondering, we are playing six-minute quarters, and we are going to be playing on the highest difficulty possible, all Madden. As the game style is going to be simulation, if you guys think I should change that, let me know. Guys, I really don't know how to feel about this, because if you guys have watched my former franchise series, we always get destroyed by Andy Dalton. Now, this is a preseason game, but we are the Dublin Shamrocks, and Andy Dalton might throw for 8,000 yards in the first quarter of this game. As they do pick up a first down, you know what, going to see if the reject can bring some pressure the screen pass executed to perfection this is going to be a touchdown isn't it isn't it can jeremy reeves get there no in just a few moments it seems like the Bengals go down the field and score on us that was awful that was freaking awful oh here we go tim tebow with trevor in the backfield who would have ever imagined tim tebow with the handoff trevor Richardson. First ever offensive play in Dublin history, about one yard. So when Tim Tebow's return to the NFL, his first ever pass, let's see if he can actually complete a pass. Be crazy. Absolutely crazy. We have somebody in an underneath route. That's actually Max McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey's brother. Ray Rice checks in for the first time in the series with Rob Gronkowski's brother in the backfield. Simple rush. Let's see, cut to the outside. Ray Rice got all excited for... I don't even think we gained a freaking yard. So head coach Tindall has Tebow lined up in an empty set in third down and 10. See if Tebow can do the goddamn thing. Let's see here. We get sacked. It's a strip sack. Unbelievable. Time for our defense to come up with a big play. Bringing pressure again. Didn't work the first time. Maybe this time we can get to Andy Dalton. They're running the football. Let's see here. I mean, we kind of got blocked right into the running back. But, I mean, a tackle's a tackle. Oh, my God. Mark Herslick. Hasn't played the best of games thus far. Well, somehow we do have him to a third down and four. I mean, I guess giving up a field goal after that strip sack couldn't be the worst thing in the world. I mean, I'd rather, obviously, give up a field goal than a touchdown. That's going to be a fade route. And, dudes, I'm not going to ask questions on how on God's earth that was not a touchdown. Because if you watch this, pretty sure his man kind of teleported out of bounds. And, eh, you yeah, know, could have easily caught that in bounds. That was awful coverage. But, hey, at least we do hold him to a field goal. By God, this, unbelievable. This is, get up. Glenn, get up. This this is just epitomizes our team. 
That play right there just absolutely epitomizes this team and what it stands for. The game already automatically subbed out Tim Tebow, but I think we're going to give him one more drive. Well, this game already has the croissant in the field. Hey, look at this. An actual first down. He breaks a tackle. Daniel Croissant might be the man. Our team is so bad that our freaking backup or third string middle linebacker is lining up at tight end. This is insane. The, the absolute scenes this team. Hey, he's wide open. Shane's... <laughs> That's why he's a gosh dang linebacker. See if anybody can get open here. First down and 10. Running some slants. Let's see. Armonte Edwards. Converted quarterback. He actually caught a pass. See if Trent can actually pick up a first down. He actually hit a hole. And he's actually carrying a guy forward. First down. Like what I see so far from Trent. Chad Johnson checks into the game for the first time. His return. The 40-year-old. Let's see. On the comeback route. Chad... Chad Johnson. So third down and four. This could potentially be the last play of this game for Tim Tebow unless he can keep the drive moving. Looks like they have a lot of guys in the box. Chad Johnson with this catch. First catch of the game and first catch as a Dublin Shamrock moves the ball to midfield. So seeing what Glenn Gronkowski can do at fullback, lining up an iPhone Pro because we don't necessarily have to have a fullback on the roster, but let's see what he can do. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, our coach once again trusting Tim Tebow to go five wide. Let's see what we can do here. See Wes Saxton over the middle. That was an awful throw. An awful throw. Awful read from Tim Tebow. Oh god, Shane Scove couldn't get there in coverage. John Ross, the fastest player in the NFL, just completely threads our defense. But he's hurt, so at least something positive came out of the play. For us, at least. I mean, I knew going into this it was going to be a long game, but not this freaking long. Second and six, bringing pressure. Mark Herzlick gets there as we get the first sack in Dublin Shamrock history. Mark Herzlick, the man, potentially could be the captain of this defense with the sack. Third down and ten. We can hold him to a field goal. We're still potentially in this game. Make sure we get this running back covered out of the backfield. Throw it back at the end zone. D Milliner with the interception. D Milliner. The former first round pick trying to make a comeback in the NFL gets the first huge play in Dublin Shamrock history on either side of the ball. So I think it is time to give Johnny Manziel a little bit of time in this football game. Going to make his Dublin Shamrock debut. He's going to have a chance to throw the football. We have a minute left to go. Going to be going hurry up all drive long. Let's see what Johnny Manziel can do here. As we have nobody open, Jesus, this offensive line is going to be a mess. Well, already a third down and 17. Not necessarily the best of start for Johnny Manziel, although his offensive line really hasn't helped him out much. Let's see if we can hit RB here. Good throw from Johnny. Hits Armonte Edwards in stride. What a throw from Johnny Manziel. I do have to say, the combination of the lack of talent on offensive line and the lack of talent when it comes to our receivers breaking away from the quarterbacks does kind of like not put the quarterback in the best of situations. But still 31 seconds to go. Let's see what Johnny Manziel can do here. Let's see, we're gonna have to take off here with Johnny. He has some space. Might actually not pick up the first down, but around midfield, 20 seconds left to go. We do have the ball past midfield at the 47, but only 20 seconds left to go. Definitely would just consider this a win if we could just get some points on the board. Let's see here. Um, just gonna scramble again with Johnny, and he's gonna get freaking hit. I would say we're probably about, you know, 10 yards away from field goal range, but you have to remember who we have at quarterback. So second down and nine, this, I don't know, needs something here. Although Dan, Johnny, we had Daniel wide open for about 10. You know what they say, lightning never strikes twice, because it didn't strike the freaking first time, so we'll try it again. Same exact play. See if this time somebody can, well, I mean, he's open again. See if we can run up field for a couple yards. We might actually have got in the field goal range. Like I said, it might be normal field goal range, but it's not necessarily Roberto Aguayo range. 55 yard field goal. There is a 13 mile per hour win. Let's see. Come on, Roberto. I believe in you. I believe that you're a good man. 55 yards. Roberto Aguayo. The field goal is up, and it is. You've just got to be freaking kidding me. Oh, what a perfect start. It is time for Jamarcus Russell's return to the NFL. And why does his boy's shoulder pads look so freaking weird? Oh, here goes nothing. First down and 10. The post might be open. Huh? Yeah. Guys, this offensive line's a travesty. It's an absolute freaking travesty. Third down and 17. Oh, God, we need a miracle. Let's see if we can get it right here. Just throw the ball deep. 
I mean, Jesus. If it had not already been bad enough, roughing the passer on an incomplete pass. Shane Sko not having the best of ball games. Can't catch passes can only catch quarterbacks after the freaking ball is thrown. You know what? Our only chance is to force some type of turnover. Frank Zombo in the ball. Oh, wide open man. That's a wide open man. Now we have a freaking face mask being called against us. This team is playing bad and playing undisciplined. Second down and goal. I am going to run commit here. Hopefully we can get lucky. But, you know, I mean, we are the Dublin Shamrocks. And yeah, of course, Post Malone made the touchdown. I guess since Jamarcus Russell had a combined negative five seconds to throw the ball last drive, we'll give him one more drive. See, Jamarcus Russell, Jamarcus Russell cannot throw the ball off his back foot. I repeat, he cannot throw the ball deep off his back foot. And oh, pick six. I mean, really, I'm just trying to do whatever I can. I mean, it is a preseason game, I'm trying to test out some, you know, strengths from players. We found out that a strength from Jamarcus Russell is definitely not throwing the ball with his back foot down the field about 40 yards. That leads to things that aren't good for our team. Well, enough of this Jamarcus Russell nonsense. Let's bring in Pat White and see if we can actually get a quarterback to lead us past the 50. Well, I mean, we do have the read option in our playbook, but I'm not sure how effective it's going to be. But I mean, heck, we're the rejects. We'll try anything. So read option number one. Everybody contained there, so that was just a GG from the beginning. Well, uh, as you guys can see, Pat White show hasn't been really any better than any other quarterback we've had in the game thus far. Fourth down and five, preseason game, down by 24. I mean, why the heck not? Let's just try to get something. Third down and 12. Let's see if we can at least hold to another field goal. Probably, probably not with this team. I mean, pressure today, tomorrow, that was pathetic. Absolutely just pathetically pathetic. Let's see if this is going to be a 27 to nothing ball game or a 31 to nothing ball game. I mean, at this point, what does it freaking matter, honestly? So, comes the music. what in this? Okay, so if they would have scored on that, I would have been upset. Man, Pat White doesn't even know how to line up in the shotgun. Guys, we're trying, and that's all we can do at this point. Just so try and try to figure out what the heck works, because we've seen not much has worked in this game. You know, we have a linebacker on a running back, and <laughs> he's just... Overthrows once again. You know what, Pat? We'll give you one more play. Fourth down and 16. We're just trying things out. You know what? We'll try out a fake punt. Pat McAfee, the man for the brand. Can we get something to go for us in this game? Wide open men. Wide open men. I'm upset. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, we have got some work to do. You know, one thing I have learned is that Chad Johnson has about as much as stamina as like a five-foot tarantula. Like, that, it's pretty bad. I mean, he is 40, so it is understandable. Chad, how? I don't, so I just was ragging on his stamina. But, god dang, that should have been an interception of some sort. Well, you know, I was looking for the comeback route, and I just threw the ball. Because I knew bad stuff was about to happen if I didn't. 34 to nothing. 34 to freaking nothing. Oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. We have some work to do in Dublin. At least at the end of the day, we had more rushing yards. Player of the game goes to Dalton Croissant. We were sacked seven times. Seven. Well, uh, let's forget that ever freaking happened. And the game knows exactly what we have to do. So, guys, that game might have been bad. But what I can promise you is that there will there'll probably be a lot worse and a lot more games like that. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's episode of the Rejects Franchise Series. Guys, make sure you are getting involved in the series in the comment section below by leaving your suggestion for who we should try out next episode. And also go make sure to vote the straw poll in the description box below to let me know if you want me to use my face cam or not for the series. But drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace. And I think we're the only NFL franchise whose head coach has a picture of another team hanging up in their office. Unbelievable, Kevin. Unbelievable.